What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean and today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about something that's uh, very serious. It's the dangers of driving fatigue and sleep deprivation. Happens every day. I see use of truck accidents and truck drivers are dying from this every day. So let's get into this video. This is Mr. John's first time pulling into a weight station. This is his first time he's been driving now for a few hours. Now it says green, so we're going to the left. Good job, John. You successfully made it to your first weight station. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so truck drivers wreck all the time. Here lately, I've been driving up and down through the country, and I see trucks. They're off in ditches. I see where they've crossed over lanes, they've ran into other truck drivers, and I'm like, what is going on? What is happening? And it's a lot of it for a few different reasons, but the number one killer for truck drivers is driving fatigue and driving with sleep deprivation. Now, you ask yourself, why do truck drivers, why do they drive sleepy? Well, there's a lot of reasons this happens. One of the reasons this happens is because companies will push you out to a limit. They will push you out there. You have tight deliveries, okay? You've got uh, a clock that you gotta deal with, a DOT clock that you gotta hurry up and deal with every day. You run into traffic, things happen, and you try to push yourself. But by pushing yourself with long hours, schedules, and tight deliveries, it leads to fatigue and sleep deprivation. So we've gotta fix that, drivers. So let's go over what happens when you drive sleepy or you drive fatigue. Number one, you're gonna have decreased alertness. You're not gonna be alert if you're not sleeping well in your truck. You'll be driving and something will pull out in front of you and you, and you won't have the reaction time because you're not gonna be as alert as you was if you had a full night's sleep. You've got to start getting sleep drivers. If you're tired, you gotta pull over. The night before, you gotta try to sleep. You can't stay up all night and run. You can't do these things because you're gonna have accidents. When you're driving and you start nodding off, you gotta pull over. You just gotta pull over. You can pull over for a couple hours. Listen, I'm telling you, a couple hours helps so much, but you're gonna have an accident. You're gonna kill yourself or kill somebody and it shouldn't be that way. It should not be that way, drivers. That's why I'm saying it. driving sleepy will cause this to happen. Number two, is just an increased risk of accidents. Do you know a study shows that that driving sleepy or driving, I call it driving sleepy, but it's fatigue and um, driving sleep, deprivation, sleep deprivation. The study shows that it's the same as driving on drugs or DUI. And you say, well, when somebody down here driving DUIs, be put in prison forever, right? They, they're on drugs, they, they, they kill somebody. What's the difference when you drive a sleepy driver? So I'm trying to be aware. That trying to make that run is not worth it. It's not worth it. Not only could you hurt yourself, but you're going to hurt somebody else. You're going to take it away from family. I see it every day. Look at the articles. Google it. Truck accident. Truck dies. Truck rolls over. Family taken out. All because a driver driving fatigue, not getting enough sleep, didn't know when to tell the dispatcher no. Okay, when you get tired, you got to pull over. Number three is micro sleep episode you said what's a micro sleep episode a micro sleep episode is when you're so tired kind of not off it might be just for a few seconds might be a few minutes i mean but when you're not off and you're traveling 68 miles an hour with 80,000 vehicles you know how far you go just in a, just a few seconds i mean several football fields i mean just like that there's a lot can happen in a few seconds and that's what's going to happen when you drive sleepy or fatigued uh number four you're going to make poor decisions if you're tired, you may not fall asleep, but you're getting that truck to set the truck stop, and you're gonna think, oh, I'm gonna get in that spot, and you're gonna have a wreck. Or you're gonna try to do a, a maneuver that you're gonna mess up, or you're gonna pull over on the side of the road, and, and, and you're just gonna make mistakes. You might not kill nobody, but you're gonna be make mistakes if you're tired. That's why you gotta get a good night's sleep. That's why you gotta be fresh. You got to. Uh, and number five is it gonna be just your health risk. Being fatigued and not getting much sleep all the time is gonna cause you 
could get diabetes, it's gonna cause high blood pressure, it's gonna cause obesity, it's gonna cause a lot of things. So sleeping is very, very important. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna try to teach you things the CDL school will not teach you. Now also, if you're a new driver, hey, you're out here driving, or even if you're an experienced driver, you need CDL legal. I put a link in the description below for CDL legal. You say, what is CDL legal? CDL legal is a protection for truck drivers. If you got a CDL, you need to protect what matters. And that's your CDL. You've got to protect it. You went all this time to get your CDL. If you're out driving, you get a speeding ticket, you can lose your license, you can lose your job. Uh, you accidentally roll through a stop sign, you're gonna need some protection. Call CDL Legal. If you're signed up with CDL Legal with a link below, it's like 30 something dollars a month, you're automatically covered. You end up getting a speeding ticket or something happens, you get a wreck, you call them, they will hire a lawyer from that town. They have a 95% chance of having it thrown, like reduced, I'm sorry, and a 90% chance of throwing right on out of there. I know a driver, this is real talk. He was doing a 90 and a 70 in his personal car. It was actually a rental car. He was a trainee of mine. He was coming back up and he, he was driving a Challenger as a rental car and he didn't think he was going that fast. Georgia got him, reckless driving. Rosedale was going to fire him. Nobody was going to hire him. He had CDL legal, thank God. He called them. They hired a lawyer, went there. He got to keep working with me. He didn't have to go to court. They go down there. They had it reduced down to a faulty odometer. He had to pay a fine, zero points on his license, saved the day. Had another driver. He called me, he said, Sean, I'm so glad I signed up for CDL legal. The police said he was on his phone. He said he swears he wouldn't. He just had a Mountain Dew bottle in his hand or a Pepsi bottle in his hand, drinking a Pepsi. The cop said he, you know, so they wrote him a ticket for an illegal phone device. Company was going to fire him. Called CD Illegal. They had it dropped within three days. It was no proof. They didn't know camera. I don't know why the cop even was messing with him. You got to throw it out. Listen, I'm not, I'm not saying you should go out there and drive illegal. But what I am saying is you need to be protected because we have a big target on the back of us as truck drivers. So you need to have it. Doctors, they've got insurance. They're not trying to kill nobody. But if they get sued for... Uh, you know, malpractice, they've got insurance, so should you. I got a link for it at the bottom. It's an awesome service. I've been using them for years. Uh, I've had them. I've never had to use them, but it's like having life insurance, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to have to, you know, you don't want to have to use it, but you got, you got it, you know what I'm saying? So, I got a link. I called them. I said, listen, can you get me a discount for for these people? They said, well, can't really pay you a lot of money. We can give you a dollar if everybody signs up. I was like, okay, cool. That's, I'm not trying to do it for the money. I'm trying to make videos to help people succeed in driving and this is one of the ways that you will succeed and be able to keep your job is with CD Illegal. So they gave us a discount just like I own the trucking company, which I don't, but I can pass that savings on to you. So make sure you go to the link below, get signed up. Let's get trucking. It's trucking off Sean. Let's get it.